Happy Halloween. <laughs> hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to our video. Going to be checking out the new Jane Animations video called I Attempted a Speedrun and Got a World Record. Make sure you watch the original link, which will be down below. Subscribe to Jane Animations. And yeah, let's get into this right now. And But first, make sure you go subscribe, like, and ring the notification bell. Let's get this started in three two, one, let's go. I think we all know the gist of what a speed run is. Play game fast. But there's so much more yep. that goes into it than what's on the surface. People spend hundreds of hours practicing games, finding optimal routes, discovering the mm -hmm. most precise glitches that can save from minutes to just a few frames, which if you don't know, is basically risking your entire run just for a few milliseconds of time save. I've come to love Frame perfect runs, jump. watching them at least. Something about yep. them is really cool to me, and I think that community is really cool. It's all cool. I've been lurking and watching various speedrunners for a decent amount of time, and I decided that I wanted to do a speedrun. Now, I don't really have the time to set aside hundreds of hours to hone my skill on whatever game I want, so I decided Dark I had Souls. to do a blind speed run where I just play it for the first time and try my best. I spent a few days racking my brain on what game I'd like to run. I like Pokemon. M uh, maybe I could run a Pokemon game. Uh, but that's a lot of researching and memorizing and luck. I could try a Mario game. It's a popular category, but uh, yep. I don't know if it's for me. Then it hit Aww. the perfect game. Of course. Why hadn't I thought of it sooner? I ran Was to speedrun.com to check if anyone has run it yet. No one. None. I'm going to be the first person in the world to speed run Cooking Mama 2 dinner what? with friends. That I Really? Know. Why did I choose Cooking Mama? Because, dude, Cooking Mama is awesome. If you haven't played, it's a DS game where you follow steps to make food and impress Mama. The better you do, the better score you get. Plus, I'm at an advantage when it comes to preparing food. I've seen Food Wars. I know all the techniques and yep. secrets. If you're under 18, don't look it up. Why did I choose the second game and not the original? I'm almost That's the one I bought. 18, so Duh. maybe not. I used to play Cooking Mama all the time I'm as a kid with my friend I'm 17, Kate. by I the way. I always thought Mama's English was really funny. <laughs> I still love it. We even had this system where if we kept failing at a recipe, we'd have to change chairs because that one had bad luck, obviously. I don't have that luxury this time because I have to stay by the computer, so I'll have to come up with a better strategy. Also, extra movements lose time. I need to be efficient here. Anyway, I wanted to have some sort of challenge, so I decided to add some rules to my run. One, Oof. I have to fully complete the main game mode, Cook with Mama. Two, I have to receive a gold medal in every single recipe. That means I can't make a mistake. Ever. Can't burn a single onion, can't accidentally pour the rice into the sink, can't smack my hand while pounding mochi. If I do, the whole recipe needs to be redone. Three, that's it. Do it fast, that's I guess. <laughs> the first recipe is pizza, and I was off to a pretty good start. Obviously, it's a speed run, so I didn't have time to read the little description on what to do each step. But for the most part, I was able to use my massive IQ and big strong brain to decode the objectives in split seconds. Except in the last step where I didn't know how to work the oven and yep. failed immediately. Again, off to a great start. After deciphering how the oven worked, I was moving on quickly. Peanut butter, poke the peanuts, done. Uh, oops. Re recover, Whoops. adapt, overcome. Done. Seabream carpaccio. Yep. Exfoliate the fish, chopping, restart. Choose smaller knife, easy peasy. Corn soup. Ew. Bald the corn, boil, strain. Oh, come on. Not all the corn came out. All right. Wow. Admittedly, I was making a lot of mistakes at the beginning. I was nervous because yep, it was that, my first I mean, speed run. I guess that's what speed runs do. I didn't know what I had do. to do most of the time and was generally panicking. But then I remembered that no Cooking Mama 2 speed runs exist yet. So that means I'm on world record pace. There's no I'm time limit. <laughs> One mechanic I had to learn the hard way was when it comes to the oven, choose the low heat. The first attempt, I decided to go with the medium heat to go a little bit faster. And look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> what was that? That was a speed run in itself. Burn the apple pie as quick as possible. You know how there's separate categories in speed runs? Mario Odyssey has the one where you take Mario's shirt off as fast as possible called nipple percent. I want one yep. for Cooking Mama 2 called burn apple pie percent. Where you just burn the apple pie as quickly as possible. Anyway, I redid the pie and was moving on. 
long yep. eel rice bowl. We're about an hour in at this point. I had my friends in a Discord call so they can help me take notes so I didn't have to rewatch all the mm -hmm. footage again for the script. And they decided to look up how many recipes there actually were in the game. There's I a million. Because I wanted to go in completely blind. <laughs> and you know what they discovered? There are a total of 80 recipes in this game. An what? hour in, I was on recipe 8. Which would be impressive in real life, but not here. So either we were going to pull a cooking mama all nighter, or I had to start picking up the pace. Sorry, shrimp. This is going to get violent. It wasn't perfect, and I was still making some mistakes, but I started getting into the zone. It helped that I was starting nice. to get familiar with the mechanics and actually know what the game wanted me to do for most of the steps now. Waffles, chili dog, meatloaf, lobster... I was one shot in all of them. I even put two mama flags on the lobster, which was a bit risky, but you know me, I live for the danger. I almost, I almost forgot to put the lobster on. Let me pause and tell you a story of my childhood. I already mentioned my love for Cooking Mama as a really? kid. Really? Even 12 years ago, nice. I set myself the goal of getting gold in all the recipes. But one haunting memory I have of this game was my struggle against the Mama Rice Cracker. All the steps are relatively simple, but at the end you have to stamp all 18 crackers with a mama stamp. That's what makes the Mama Rice Cracker the Mama Rice Cracker. But as a kid, my DS was old and I dropped it a few times, which messed up the calibration on my screen in a way I couldn't fix. So that meant at the very end of the recipe, yep. it was extremely hard for me to stamp the stamp in the exact spot that Mama wanted. I spent weeks, yep. I'm not joking, trying to get the gold on the Mama Rice Cracker. It was the last one I needed and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I'm pretty sure I was eventually able to pass, but let's just say I didn't for the sake of drama. Yep. Either way, I was having PTSD. I was going through all the steps, <laughs> washing the rice, putting the rice in the little hole, mochi pounding the rice scoop, and then it appeared. The screen that caused the most pain a video game could to a 10 year old. I was slowly making my way down the line. Everything was going well. And then all of a sudden on the 10th cracker, no! I accidentally tapped the screen when I was lining up my pen, causing me to not brand the cracker enough. I'm not one to believe in spiritualism or star signs or destiny's Oof. child, whatever that stuff is. It's but fucking that Elmo. In particular, made me question if it was all real, and my only fate is to eternally fail the last step of the Mama Rice Cracker recipe until I inevitably die in an unaccomplished old man that makes ugly rice crackers. I did it right the next time, but that would have been unfortunate, right? With the mama yep. rice cracker conquered, now nothing was in my way, and I was making my way through the rest of the recipes. At the two hour, 37 minute mark, 27 recipes in, uh, Ari got out of his cage and was running around the room, so I had to spend precious time getting him back under control. That was a loss of two minutes right there. Then I missliced the raviolis, so I'm blaming all of that misfortune on Ari. I actually struggled a lot on the yep. ravioli recipe. The pasta is really hard to cut because you have to time the splice with the line, but since I was so focused on when to cut, a lot of the time I would deviate from the actual line to cut from and mess up then when i was able to get past that stage for some reason the mic had trouble hearing me blow so even though i was doing what i was supposed to i'd fail anyway uh oh no i do you hear it overall i had to redo the ravioli recipe six times and i spent 11 minutes on it oh boy not great Thanks, Ari. But after that, I was able yeah. to one-shot both Freak you, Ari. And spring rolls. And can we talk about how the ice cream recipe literally just makes you scoop out store-bought ice cream and put sprinkles on store -bought it? Store-bought ice That's cream. That's been my favorite Bruh. recipe so far. Skipping forward a bit, let's talk about the mango pudding. This was ravioli part two. The first step I had trouble uh -oh. with was memorizing the order of the ingredients. It was the six-part Simon Says memory game, and my big smooth brain can only handle one number at a time before the concept of object permanence leaves my body. I inevitably got a lucky pattern that was easy to remember, and after a few more steps, in the end, I had to draw a line at a specific speed that would remove the pudding cleanly. Too slow and it wouldn't come out, too fast and it just... For the life of me, I couldn't get the pacing right three consecutive times in a row. And with the combined difficulty of that, along with the memorizing, I spent another 10 minutes trying to get it right and still failing. My confidence oh, man. Shattered. 
and I had to take a mental health break. No creeper I'll intended, be back guys. For you mango pudding. I'll come back. This stronger. is the last thing I do. I'll do so well, I'll become the mama. I was in shambles from the pudding, but was able to move on and started getting back into a rhythm. All these foods, I was knocking them out one by one. I will note that I struggled with popcorn because I thought there was gonna be some sort of indicator or something on when to open the lid. So I just sat there until I realized I burnt it all. Oh wait. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll open it when I hear the popping sounds. And then I opened it with like five popcorns. <laughs> but it's okay, I was able to figure it out. Overall, the rest of the run yep. went on without any major problems. I was able to finish up the rest of the recipes. And at the six hour, 38 minute mark, I only had two recipes left. The bento box, and of course, the mango pudding. Time is ticking. We're in the- It's end. a JoJo reference. Also, my Discord friends were ready to never talk to me again. I thought I could just get the bento box over with quickly because it's like, you just put food in box, right? Well, yep. actually, I didn't realize I had to include food from all the categories mama gave me or something. So I failed it like three times and was on the brink of insanity trying to figure out what mama wanted from me. The food is in the box, mama. What the f what's what a bento box is? Food in box. What else do you need? Come blood? on. A blood sacrifice? It didn't say anywhere <laughs> in the instructions that I should have put more Mama's evil. in there. Not Mama's really evil. Anyway, I still right now don't know what Mama wanted, but at least I finally got the gold after four minutes. That meant I only had one last recipe. 79 were completed. The mango pudding was the only thing standing between me and the first Cooking Mama 2 dinner with friends world record. I clicked it nervously, but I climbed my mountain. I trained with Mama and I've oh come boy. back a new chef. Peeling, slicing, blending, I was quicker than ever. There it was. The memorizing. I was doing well until... No! Oh no! <laughs> I restarted. I was sweaty and shaking. My brain was shutting down. My Still eyes three had only minutes been left. seen Cooking Mama for the past oh, boy. and 45 minutes. Every breath was Cooking Mama. Did I just Mama. see Heavy Every or something? I don't know. Every skull was Cooking Mama. Every atom in the universe at that moment was Cooking Mama. But my oh next my attempt, god. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> is this is this the one? I nervously went through the rest of the recipe until I arrived at the last step. It's been about 3 hours and 15 minutes since I practiced removing the pudding from the oh, bowl. No. And to be honest, I don't remember the removal strats. First one, second one, third one. Uh-oh. Let's go! Oh, oh yes! I got all the puddings out flawlessly. I waited until the results to confirm it. Boom! A hundred points on the mango pudding. Stop the timer. I did it. At long last, all 80 recipes in Cooking Mama 2 gold. In six hours, 47 minutes, and 27 seconds. Wow. There might be some room for improvement there. Overall, I yep. had a really fun time with the speed run. It's not even close to a good run, and the time can easily be halved, but I still pride myself in knowing I was the first one to complete and document the Cooking Mama 2 all gold percent, and also burnt apple pie percent. If there's any speedrunners out <laughs> there wanting to try and take my crown, uh, I'll share some speed strats I thought of during the run. If you complete the steps too quickly, you get a bonus, and at the end of the recipe, if you get five bonuses, you receive a gift that you can't reject or skip, which loses a lot of time. You're smothering me, Mama. Oh boy. So if you can get new <laughs> bonuses within the entire game, you'd be saving a lot of time. Another tip is, if you're gonna mess up the recipe, uh, don't mess up the last step, because if you do, you have to wait through Mama giving you your score and clapping for you and being like, yeah, it's almost perfect. And the whole time wow. you're like, yes, Mama, I know it's not perfect. I dropped an egg. And then she gives you like three presents in a row because you got too many bonuses and you're just screeching at her to shut up the whole time. Because you just and want that extra two points, that, that 2%. Time, uh I don't know what a cooking mama glitch would look like, but it doesn't sound pleasant. But it doesn't matter because as of this moment what right was that? here, I'm the one with the cooking mama 2 dinner with friends world record. Guess I finally did something with my life after all. Anyway, yep. thanks for watching my first attempt. How many times does Ari have to crop on her monitor? I should have chosen a game that could have been done in a few less hours because I feel like I aged yep. 20 years after this. But eh, you live and learn. Yep.
I wanted to submit my run to speedrun.com, but since no one has run the game yet, I need to submit a request to add Cooking Mama 2 Dinner with Friends. But I only made my account last night, and to make a request, I need to have had my account for seven days. So I'll submit it in seven days, but it's not gonna be interesting. I didn't record my audio with it. It's just six hours of Cooking Mama gameplay. <laughs> yep. Also, we're working to drop some new merch in the shop really soon. I don't know if it's on the site yet, but it's coming, and we've got some real fun stuff in the works. All right, that's it. See you later. Later. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, watch the links, and make sure you subscribe to Jaden. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. De deuces. Peace. Where's Johnny?